Hey, how's it going? Chris here. This is my 2014 Chevy Silverado I got a couple years ago. And the purpose of this video is to show you my slimline crossover toolbox here. And we'll get in here real close. I got this toolbox at Lowell's about a couple months ago. And I had, in my other truck, my old truck, I had a bigger, bigger box and I got rid of that and I went with the slimline and let's get in here real close and I'll show you some of the modifications I did to it and also how I secure it down all right one thing pretty obvious is that I put a couple of hasps on here with padlocks and I use their key locks and I'm not a real big fan of key locks so I may change those over to combination locks before too long. But you can see right down here, and let me zoom in a little bit on that. Is I uh, used a couple of old 2x6s to hold the center weight up on this toolbox. And that really, really works good. All right, let's open it up. Now instead of uh, drilling holes into the, the bed rail here, I went down to Lowell's or Home Depot, I can't remember which, which one it was, and I got some J-bolts which hook up underneath the lip of the, the rail here, so kind of like this, or like that, and then use some uh, nylon nuts here and a hardened washer. And this plate right here is from a uh, floor jack that I just had some spare ones left over. And that is one, one solid fit. Now let's take a look at the, uh, the hasps that I put in here. These were a booger. These are your, I got these at Home Depot and Lowe's too. And I used uh, quarter 20s in here and nylon nuts, washers. Let's take a look at down here. This is where it goes in. Same deal here. I just uh, bolted it into the uh, aluminum side there. So, works good. Works real good. All right, the length of this bed is just shy of 69 inches. And I didn't want to um, uh, have a really super wide toolbox back here. So that's why I went with a thin slimline one. Okay, I'm gonna freehand this. But it definitely holds a lot of stuff. I've got a full-size floor jack in here. Uh, lots of bags of tools. You know, some tie straps, bottle jack, shovel, a piece of wood. Now, one thing I did do is you can see this plywood here. I put a plywood floor on this box. So, and I got it bolted in to the in the center here. And that's bolted into the center here. You can literally sit on top of this box. It'll hold all kinds of stuff in here. Toe strap, funnel, gas can, blow up mattress, pump for blowing up mattress, uh, that thing full of tools, chain, 
and still lots of extra room in here. Put more stuff. Ratchet, ratchet straps. So, yeah, it's small, but definitely uh, good to secure your stuff. Watertight. Part number on this is that one. I, got a, I think I paid 150 160 bucks for this thing. I'm not sure. But uh, definitely, definitely, definitely like it. And it doesn't take up a whole heck of a lot of space here in the back of the bed, which I really like. So there you have it. Just thought I'd show you this in a little bit more detail of what I did to strengthen it up and modify it. Here, let me shut it and I'll show you. Yep, let me sit down on it. Yep, I got my full weight on it right now. So you can just use this for tailgating, sit down as a chair. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, there you go. Hey, thanks for watching. Just thought I'd show you this, guys.